Hey, I'm Natalie Jameson, bringing you this week's Odd Box as your usual host, Dominic Byrne, is working in Los Angeles. First up, the second annual Gravity Grand Prix. It's a mad charity event held in an English village where people make their own wacky carts and race them. This year saw a tank, a pup on wheels, and everybody's favourite, an almost flying pig. At number nine, a panel of ambitious men try to cram as many cannolis, sweet pasta treats, down their gullet as humanly possible. I hope you're not eating right now, as this is really grim. The winner was young Brad Shulo, who ate 20 pasta things in just six minutes. That's what is all about. That's beautiful. Not surprisingly, it made him cry. It's a dream come true. Now, Dr. Doolittle has come to life, kind of, because a Japanese researcher has worked out how to get a whale to talk. The vocabulary is a bit limited, but amazingly, Nak the beluga whale can say bucket, flipper, and goggles. Here he goes. Next, researchers say they want to find out how Nak can say, my back is itchy and I'm really hungry. Hopefully that's not going to take too long. OK, how is this for a good job studying chips all day? The one on the left is a Belgian chip, while the darker one is a French chip. And this man has the job of working out the chipacity of certain potatoes. I have no clue what that means. It's not in the dictionary, but if it leads to a better chip for all of us, then great. And number six, bats migrating to Mexico make a pit stop in a Utah school. It happens every year at this time, freaks out some of the students. No, I'm only scared when they fly like really low and then you're just like, ah. But the janitor loves it. He's got his own moves and everything. kind of have to swoop from the side. Halfway through and there's been a revelation in the football world. Not only do we know that women can play soccer, but now they can do it wearing skirts. They're uh, far more elegant than the traditional uh, shorts. An amateur Dutch ladies team got a previous ban lifted by having shorts under the skirts. And for some reason, men are now flocking in their thousands to take a look on the team's website. Next, J-Lo in a wetsuit. Not often you see that. She looks a little grumpy on her bike as part of this triathlon, but still finds time to kiss husband Mark Antony. In a break from rescuing cats up trees, these firefighters in Sydney, Australia, had to rescue a snake caught on a cable. The adventurous python makes number three on our odd box. It took a while to untangle him, and to be honest, he didn't seem that grateful to be free. Now, here in Britain, we're very proud of our musical heritage, from the Beatles to Coldplay and even Iron Maiden. But I feel I should apologise for this. That song, Bingo Wings, is celebrating the delightful flab you get here when you don't go down the gym enough. But was also used as a protest against size zero women at London Fashion Week. I'm very much for the curvy women. And at our number one spot, it's the world's smallest man trapped between the longest legs in the world. Mongolia's He Ping Ping is a mere 74 centimetres tall. That only takes him up to the knees of Svetlana Pankratova from Russia, whose legs alone reach for 132 centimetres. It's great for me to realise I'm the queen of the longest legs. My God. Very long. Indeed, she has got very long legs, all the better to keep her nose safe by the looks of things. That's your lot. I'm on The Joe Wiley Show weekdays and midday on Radio 1. Dominic is back with you next time. But if you're craving more odd stuff, then go look at bbc.co.uk slash oddnews.